Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 19, 2022. If you like support channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos and uh, let's get to it. So we have dropped quite significantly. That was kind of expected after this uh, fairly bearish candlestick yesterday. So we're trading right above the 50 moving average or the 20 simple moving average and the 50 moving average. 106.86 dollars at this current stage so we are kind of forming a channel here we broke out of this uh, triangle and at this point we kind of just bouncing off um, heading up down up and down and so on and at this point is we're kind of dropping back down towards the lower part of uh, this channel so so at this current stage, it doesn't mean that this is market is going to fall apart, even though we dropped roughly, uh, where we are we, 2.5% today. Uh, Bill Mosley bounced from here as, um, as this market has proven to be very resilient. If we do drop below roughly $100 and $98, uh, 98 then we may see this uh, market drop towards 90 and the 200 moving average. But we are not there at this current stage. The market is far more bullish, um, has proven to be far more bullish at this point than than, than bearish. Uh, breaking above the highs here of 115, that opens the door to 116, and then the previous highs up here. And after that, who knows where basically this market goes. So in the long term, we may see this market uh, st um, start to fall apart. Uh, main reason for that is that we are heading into a stagflationary period in the world economy where we'll ha have uh, high unemployment, low growth and so on. And low growth basically means that there will be less demand for oil or energy. And, and usually when that occurs, we uh, see the market do something similar to, uh, similar to this that we saw back in 2020. We saw it also back in 2019. And if we go far back towards uh, the uh, Great Recession back in 2008, we see this. This basically happened in half a year, roughly. We went from, give or take, $147 per barrel all the way down to $32 per barrel in just a matter of four months or something like that. So things can change very rapidly if the world economy uh, stops if, uh, or slows down, I was supposed to say. If you look at the, the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish with a lot of room to the downside. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas has started to pull back. This is starting to look like a shooting star. And uh, if we were to break down, then the 20 simple moving average is moving in this direction. 50 moving average is here. Last, we have been bouncing off the 20 simple moving average several times or the 50 moving average. So depending, dropping below here, then we may drop to the 50 and $7 will mostly be where we'll find uh, support. But breaking below the 50, that opens down all the way down towards the 200 moving average or the previous highs here. So there is a massive floor in $7. We saw the highs here roughly seven dollars we saw the lows here at roughly seven dollars uh not, not seven dollars i mean uh, six point four dollars i mean and uh, that is probably what we have to challenge in order to go to the very lows of the of the 200 moving average but but this market has also together with the um, uh, oil been very very resilient people have been buying the dips and as long as that is the case we will most likely see this market continue higher, even though we're a part of the uh, part of the year where markets should be falling apart. So, if you look at MACD, it is uh, bearish. If you look at the, it's the uh, bullish, sorry. If you look at the stochastic, it is bearish, and the uh, RSI, it is technically flat at this point, with a lot of room to the downside. So, hope you find this helpful. You're willing to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.